And it looks like the Mercedes gets a good start uh, and immediately slips into the Red Bull slipstream. Uh, Try to go around the outside that's going to turn into the inside. Where have we seen this before? Red Bull leaving no space on the inside. And it looks like there's a couple of yellow flags, but uh, it looks like the cars got away nice and safe. A little bit of a spin, a little bit of a moment. As soon as it Percy and the Alfa Romeo as we're on lap one, another local yellow being shown at the moment. Yeah, yeah. left yeah. son does left and He doesn't have his front wing. It doesn't look to be there. Or I think he's still there. Might have some minor damage to the front wing, but it looks like he got away safe. So, uh, Bradley uh, has led the first lap, and it's all about the DRS in the next coming lap. After this lap, Joey needs to stick behind. As they go, and then Phoenix is further up the road there in the Haas. So I'm not quite sure which battle to follow, but somewhere along the line, they're going to be about to following some battle. As they make their way through the Regoda, turns four and five. As the pit stops from those gladiators out there, they've lost a, a few, crucial. losing 12 positions. He's got Hasses up the road, he's got a lot of traffic up the road, it's going to be fun. Check that out, P14, P13 oh, in the Parabolica. Alpha Tyrus out, that's Thomas D. He's sticking to a Delta oh, right yeah. now, and the game's telling you, and you want to go up and down, but you get penalised if you go a little bit too quick. There Let's go. go, it's green! Yeah, and Persigali gets uh, a good run. Does he decide to go for the move? Three positions up? for the Hasses keeping Gorn up. Gaunt up really happy. Especially knowing he's also his teammate. Oh, no, he's not his teammate down the road there. That's uh, Tigsy. But he got the overtake done without the DRS. And that's driving, my friend, to surviving without the Netflix. But... The car ahead. It's Joey. And he's under threat by Phoenix with the DRS. Joey needs to get within the RS range again of Brandy. will be enabled, so here it is. Make or break situation. Are they too far back? Do they like pineapple yeah, on their pizza? Way too far back. <laughs> Stop mentioning pineapple safety on car. pizza. Now, of course, safety car right now is Bradley just ahead of the pit lane entrance. He may be. So it's up to everybody else behind him. Joey can jump in. Phoenix can jump in. They can all jump in and get a free pit stop here, but will they? Lorraine is lurking. I don't know. He has all, you know, he's got his his friend. He can call him on 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 the phone and go, "Hey, you're about seven kilometers down the road. Is the rain heavy?" The I think he might be able to come in and out in times. 26, 24 pit stop. Yeah, that's going to be tight, but he might be able to do it. Keep an eye on Joey in P3. Yeah, we're uh, our good dog didn't. Yeah, our dog dropped, uh, dropped a couple of places. So very lucky for Bradley. That they had to so stick to those drivers dances. on dry tires. Cody though, has yeah. done brilliantly all season long. Thank you, Cody. He's a fantastic weather model. It's the best I've seen in any racing games on the planet. So please keep it up. Trying to get the temperature in those tires because he knows he has to get on with it. Joey wants to take a little bit of a snap at this one. Joey wants to try the Max Verstappen, but off goes Bradley. And here we go, green flag. Cine spinning out, I believe. And Benja already making up a couple of positions. And as we see, Joey getting pressurized by the Haas behind. And now it actually looks like it's raining enough. It's understandable, but how long is the rain going to last for? That's going to be the key. It's getting heavier. Look at this battle with our Falco there. Cossi, Percy, all going for it. Through 10s, 4 and 5. And they got through there safely. Talk to F1 drivers. They can't even do that. His team will go on the answers. Nobody on the wets. I think there's some front wing changes and stuff like that too. Jazz there from the Haas team as well as the Mercedes and the Ferrari. Absolutely close they are. <laughs> Can he get love a launch this time? Maybe he has. Bradley's no slouch to get past, but that's a great launch. Probably the best launch I've seen. And a safety car restart in a long time. Couldn't even get him to turn one if he wants. Maybe. Ooh, last late break. Bradley, Bradley takes the racing line, and Joe right behind him as well. Wants to challenge for that P1. Percy, get, no, Tixie, getting Ergodog on the restart as well. At the chicane. And Fico getting a good target. Well, you see, incurring their P4, P5, P6 at the moment. Looks like Cossi. And no, he could have done it. There's action all around the place. That's the Alpha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. overtaking. Well, he's going to go. Dan's going to move and make him go on the inside line. And there's a tap from Percy. And sneak up the inside. There's Phoenix. What a kerfuffling. But somehow, they've all made it out of there. And no foul, no game has also said, well, you failed, my friend, because I've gained in P9. Gained side by side. Got a terrible camera angle as well. Not good camera angle for that, but it looks like Phoenix is uh, safe for now. As a McLaren does, Benjo going badly. Equal away. tires. 
and no DRS. So it's all about the battery, all about the machine, all about the drivers. And they're still going lap 15 of 27. Or it's the other way around, but I did was successfully defended or successfully attacked. But yeah, it's a close I'll tell group. you what, these gladiators still keeping their cars in the ring of Monza is damn, damn impressive because not even the gladiators back in the Roman period could do that. Uh -huh. Ferrari, the other Ferrari, you're making a run on the Williams. Action everywhere. All the way through turns four and turn five. We talk, and they're going to go through Lesmos now. This is going to be exciting. Hold on. Hold on tight. Do not look away from the screens. It's being pressurized by the fans to do the overtake. Go on, get P4 and fight yourself onto the podium because that's the position they're battling for at the moment because Pixie in P3 has a free second no penalty. One. You might even want to go down to Phoenix and have a look on board Phoenix's car cam to see how that's going to pan out. And it's going to go into turn one. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Uh, not the best recovery from Alfa Romeo so far. After a solid qualifying, I must say. Uh, but FICO uh, being under pressure yet again from the Ferrari and the Red Bull behind. You're in big trouble, especially as the track is getting a little bit more trickier. It's getting wetter. It's getting tougher. It's getting sweatier. I would not want to be one of these gladiators in this car right now, because I guarantee you there's more sweat on them than there would be rain here in Monza. Yeah. Puddles on track in the F1 game equal wet territory. Wet tires, maybe. It does, because the wet tire has deeper grooves in them to clear out the standing water. In the turn one on Joey... Oh, well, that's one Ferrari gaining, one Ferrari-powered car gaining, another one perhaps gaining. Joey could be struggling right now. These conditions are horrendous, absolutely horrendous, but exciting. Which is only going to be a bit of ERS power. He does have a penalty. Virtual safety car deployed. I believe that was for Dan Wynn that's gone off somewhere. It means he can't make an overtake now. Spoiled the opportunity for us to see. It seems he could have got it done. Which is odd because it he looks like... He could have got a good exit. Can he make a run on Joey? Oh, that breaking point coming up soon. He's not going to be enough. No. Side there of uh, Genny. Got the job done? Yes, he does. He might get a big bear hug from the McLaren boss. He'll break a few ribs, actually. <laughs> oh, something's in the pit lane. No fail is yeah. in the pit. Joey, what does he decide? Look, his car is just drifting. You've got to stay out, but you can't. This is oh. the difficult part. He's Joe is out. out. He hit the pit lane entrance. Said the car he? slowed everybody down. No temperatures left in the tyres, and it's all gone pearl shaped. It's all gone exactly. pearl shaped. So everyone seems to be in the pit. In right and out, now. But does Phoenix follow? Phoenix is 17 seconds down the road. He does follow. Persigeli does as well. Cars is he's going to fall. Yeah. And I believe Shuey... He's got, he could go for the... He won't get the trifecta. He won't get the fastest lap. But however, Bradley can try to defend Gordon, I think, at the moment. Can go for a gold here. Absolutely just go for it. And if not, Phoenix lurking in the background. P3 for the Haas. Let's see how it's going to pan out. Penultimate lap. No DRS. Just keep the car on the track at the moment is what the team engineers are asking and begging these drivers as they go into approach turn one. Can he get the outside line? Can he get the job done? It's the last time. No refunds allowed the now. Time. And uh, Percy Kelly makes a mistake. And uh, co cost being very, very consistent here through the last most. And look at the traction. In the soaking wet weather of Monza. You're excited, my friend. You've won. The Dutch driver has won the Italian Grand Prix in Monza. The classic Adrian Newey says, no champagne. No champagne. You're too good. Bradley, you are way too good. Congratulations. You've won the race. Yeah.